Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about eating food that not everybody would be willing to eat. We're going to talk a little bit about the USDA, Department of Health and Regulations, and we're going to talk about salvaged food and food from the discount grocery store. I hope you stay tuned. Hi everybody, I'm Tessie and this is Homestead Tessie. Now a discount grocery store sells food that a normal grocery store no longer keeps on their shelf. A discount grocery store will sell food that has expiration date, that is dented, that the fruits and the vegetables don't look very nice. And I'm going to show you how I take food that would otherwise not be the mainstream type of person wouldn't be buying it. Also. I go to the discount grocery store where I can get things for a dollar. So I can get sweet potatoes for a dollar a bag and then I will go and buy 50 bags of them and then I will use them as long-term storage, which you're going to see here in just a minute. But we're going to talk about the USDA and how they have changed the regulations on expired food and things like that. Product dating is the most widely used means a consumer to determine when to purchase or use a food product at its best quality. Date stamped on packages also helps the store determine how long to display the product for sale. But according to the United States Department of Agriculture, these dates are not safety dates. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the difference between the safety dates and the dates that people use Best Buy. And it's really fascinating because more and more stores are doing less throwing away food and more having food that's discounted or discontinued. And so I'm going to show you opportunities that I use at the discount grocery store to get foods that would normally be thrown away. It is no secret that all these stores throw a lot of their food away. You can dumpster dive for that food and you can get the food at Aldi, dumpster dive it. We know there is some channels that do that as a daily basis. There is nothing magical about the sell by date. They're just guides for quality. So the purpose of the date is to help the consumer know that the product is intended to be sold at a certain time. Now this you can get off the internet it's for everyone to see and my channel is all about saving money and you know dumpster diving is not taboo anymore here is the laws of pennsylvania when it comes to dumpster diving if the dumpster is locked or has a gate around it it is illegal to go to that dumpster if the dumpster is unlocked and there is no barrier around the dumpster in the state of pennsylvania it is legal to open up that dumpster and to pick out the food that you want, as long as you always leave it better conditioned than what you found it. So let me explain that again. Dumpster diving in the state of Pennsylvania is legal. If the dumpster is not locked, or if there is no gated or no barrier around it. So if it's just a dumpster behind a building, unlocked, you are legally able to go in that dumpster and you're legally able to take the food out as long as you're not hanging around there longer than you need to and you're not making a mess of all of it. So there you go everyone. Just a part of my life that I love to share with all of you. The point of these videos are to share with you that even if you can't dumpster dive, even if you don't have a discount grocery store, that you can always find food that's discounted. 
even the regular grocery stores oftentimes has a little far off place in the corner of their store where the food is really dis discontinued and discounted. Whether you're getting produce for 99 cents or you're buying some canning supplies, you can always find food at a really good price but you have to look around, you have to go consistently. So you have to go maybe twice a week if you're in the area and just take a scoop around everything. And you might even find some things that were thrown away. You just never know what you may find. Orange juice for 99 cents because it's expired, but it's only expired by a day. To me, salvaged food means food that is expired, that would be thrown away, but the stores sell it for really, really cheap because it's not that far expired. So this at a grocery store would soon be thrown away, but they reduced the price so people could buy it, so people could consume it. Peas for 99 cents. So, Next time you go to your favorite grocery store, take a look and see if there's an area of discounted food. Even ask the manager and say, do you have a place where you keep all of your reduced price food that I could see where it is? Because a lot of times it's very hidden and it's very discreet where they have it. And it's always so much fun because there is nothing wrong with expired orange juice that only expired for a couple days. Put it in your freezer if you have room for it. All of these things can save you tremendously at the grocery store, no matter where you shop. Even Walmart has a lot of discounted food on an aisle somewhere in your store. Each store is different. They have their baked goods, they have canned goods, everything with really good clearance sales. All right, now I'm gonna take a few moments and put everything away, and then I wanna show you my sweet potato haul. I was at the store and they were getting rid of sweet potatoes and they had oh, probably 100 pounds and this is 50 pounds of them and they gave me all of these for a couple dollars. I had to go through them and get rid of the old ones. Now here's one that's not very nice. I probably won't keep that one. But I asked them. They were going to throw them away and I asked them if they would sell them to me and they did. So you just never know what you're going to find but at first I used to be embarrassed you know I used to see you know they go through the store with a cart and then you saw workers putting things in the cart and you knew that that was going to be stuff they're throwing away but now I ask them so if I see somebody in the grocery store and they're going through their produce and they're getting ready to throw their produce away I'll go ahead and ask them hey what are you doing with all of this and Almost always they give it to me or they give it to me really cheap. I've had food given to me as well by doing this. So there is my, it's about 50 pounds of sweet potatoes. So the typical day is me working through food. I had a friend give me a whole bunch of peppers. Now these peppers were discounted and then they were not sold and she gave them to me. I'm kind of known in the area for the girl who would take any kind of food that nobody wants. I was going to can these peppers, but I decided I'm going to freeze them because I'm so busy. So I'm working on cutting these peppers up so I can freeze them. This will be enough to last me about four months. And then I'll show you in a minute what else I'm working on. I get food all different places. I go all different places to find food so I will find food in our local area I will get discounted food in other counties I travel far and wide to find food that was less desirable I have friends that dumpster dive and they give me some food let me show you this here my sister-in-law was able to get a bunch of that bacon so she gave me some bacon and I freeze it and then I just go ahead and saute some of it. As you can see, it's bacon ends. So she gave me that, which is such a blessing that she did that for me.